talking about this. This is a New York Times article. We have met the enemy, and here's PowerPoint. And this is a PowerPoint slide that PA Consulting did for the US Army about Afghanistan about eight years ago. And when uh, Stanley McChrystal saw it, he turned around and he said, when we understand that slide, we'll have won the war. <laughs> political PowerPoint even has its own political party, the anti-PowerPoint party. <laughs> I thought this was a joke. I then went and investigated, and I found out they're not, it's not a joke. They want to ban PowerPoint, and they are the eighth largest party in Switzerland. It is not a joke. So here, I'm going to tell you how to spread the tyranny of how to create PowerPoint files <laughs> with OfficeGen and Node.js. So PowerPoint is actually really popular for making diagrams. Um, the case example here is uh, I work for a company called StarCount. Uh, we have client leads that go out and basically explain to businesses how to better understand their customers through data analysis. And they wanted to create this particular slide here. Um, and they were like, this is kind of like a guide through um, a dynamic customer journey, all the different ways in which the customer interacts with the client. It's got lots of different uh, elements to it, and it's all dynamically driven, so we basically work out what the best values are and then plop it in there. Big problem that they had was they said, we want to use this diagram across many clients, but every time we try and make it, it takes a really long time, a lot of customization. So we had to look at ways of solving this problem, and uh, we came actually across a way to do it in Node.js. Um, and upon the discovery, I learned some interesting things. You don't need PowerPoint to create PowerPoint files. It turns out you can actually create them with a text editor. And you might say, how is this possible? And I will tell you, what if I told you PowerPoint files are just zip files to the terminal? So I am going to show you this code executing. If I can just get out of, there we go. Let's just do that. So it's going to unzip the file. It's going to open up Atom. Uh, Atom is going to take its time loading because it's an Electron app. I know, I wrote a book about it. Um, and basically, this is my presentation unzipped right here. So this is actually um, a schema of files and folders, all XML, uh, that PowerPoint generates. Um, and the way it does it is it's using a format called OpenOffice XML file format. Basically, it's a way to future-proof documents so that they are still readable long after the software that created them is gone or in uh, our case, made illegal by the anti-PowerPoint party. <laughs> and if you want to read more about it, there's uh, two links. The Office Open XML file format. I might have called it OpenOffice earlier, um, but it's Office Open. Um, and if you don't know about XML, Microsoft has made this handy guide, XML for the uninitiated, if you want to read about that and get familiar with XML. But it turns out you do not have to write XML by hand to make these PowerPoint files. Just on a curious note, does anyone know who that is, by the way? Yep, the guidance program, NASA, uh, Margaret Hamilton. Uh, she got the Presidential Medal of Freedom from uh, Obama. Um, great achievement. That's all her code, by the way. She wrote all that. Um, you've got two libraries. There's one called PPTX GenJS. Uh, it works on both the browser and the server. Uh, and you can uh, play with that. The one that we used at work uh, was OfficeGen. And OfficeGen actually allows you to create Word documents and Excel files as well. Uh, and PowerPoint. I'm going to show you how it does it. So if you go through npm install, and then you go, you've got your dependencies, and then you want to basically start doing something, you go declare the file type, set the title, set the size size, then make a new slide, put a title for the slide, set some background and foreground colors, make sure that you don't have the hash like in a CSS for hex values, um, and then you can add some text. So we can have hello Elnug, set the font face, the font size, how you want to align it. The XY dimensions, you can just set percentages. Um, the CX and CY refer to container. So that's actually like the width of your box that contains the object. Um, and then you can also create images, shapes, tables, and charts. So I've only got eight minutes, so I'm not going to be able to run through that. But basically, create right file stream. Uh, so you open up a file stream in Node. Um, we just set up a little message to print out saying on close, closed. Um, pipe the PTX file generation stream to the write up file stream, and it generates it out. So it receives it, and then as it closes, it does it. Um, is it going to? Yes, good. So basically, just showing you this actually running. Um, if I just run this now, uh, that code, by the way, was the actual file. I'll just show you. No, not that. This. I can't type. There we go. So that's all the code that we just ran through. Um, if I now just uh, quickly open up, you can see 
Ta da! Hello, Elnog. That is the actual PowerPoint file we just generated for that little example there. Um, and if we go back to here, so now uh, we used Office Gen to automate generating the diagram for us. So the complicated diagram, I'm just going to run you through the code very quickly once I've got Atom up. There we go. Uh, switch to deck. Um, basically, uh, we put in a CSV file. You'd have like different sections for the different points and lines. Uh, an icon to use, what kind of color you want for the uh, item that you're going to plop down, some text to put inside of it, and then an uh, incremental spend number that we just put in the uh, circle on the left-hand side. Um, then what we would do is just quickly run through this. Um, we'd have this instantiation here. We'd do some little magic here. Context basically does the work of working out dynamically what should the position of all those elements be depending on what section they're in, how many there are in that section, um, and then basically making sure that everything is just ni nicely and nicely aligned and adjusted and all that. Um, and then what happens is we basically loop through a list of images and shapes and text. You can see the calls here, and I just do some uh, destructuring on the objects because they actually get passed in through as ray stroke through, and then output, bam, done. And just to show you what one of these files looks like, um, I have one here. From earlier, and basically it's just doing this, da, 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 and these ten hours to do this. Um, so they don't have to do this anymore, which they're very happy about. Um, so back to the other presentation. Um, it turns out, mission accomplished. You don't need PowerPoint to create PowerPoint files. So just to remind you, there's Office Gen, there's PPTX Gen. Oh, ah. okay. Uh, there's Office Gen. There's pptxgen.js. That one's really good because if you want to embed YouTube videos and media files, you can do it with this. Um, and if you're curious, the founder of the anti-PowerPoint party has written a book, The PowerPoint Fallacy. Still presenting or already fascinating? <laughs> if you become a member, you get a seven euros discount on the site. Bargain. And speaking of already presenting, that's it. Done. Thank you.